I think it's right through Europe, a sense that people who kept their part of the bargain, I'm picking up what Richard said, people who kept their part of the bargain, they've worked hard, they've contributed to pensions, worked hard to get an education, they've done everything that has been asked of them to be responsible citizens. And suddenly they've been asked to pay a price because of an utterly irresponsible crisis. They didn't cause it. And the, the, the language I hear articulated again and again, both from the visibly angry and from people who are not yet out on the streets, but who feel it very, very angry, this we didn't create this mess yet we're being asked to pay for it and people are also painfully aware certainly in ireland but and i think in britain and i'm sure in europe and richard picked up that also the people who have been asked to pay the most are the most vulnerable i mean the kind of cuts that are being proposed in ireland in the coming budget will be to decimate services for for example children with special needs or the elderly um, or um, any group which does not have, if you like, a golden plate at the table. And there's also the strong sense that these figures, I'm sure, in France and Germany and Greece come out again and again, these billions that have been wasted and stolen. Um, and yet nobody has been held to account. And the only people that have been held to account are the people who are the easy targets. And that, I think, underneath it all, I think, frankly, I'd be honest, I come from a place where uh, anger take, took very bad forms. I think healthy anger on the streets is good. I think it's, it's, it's when anger turns inward and people feel there is no remedy. And I think the important thing at the moment, again, underneath all of this, if people do not believe there are democratic remedies to um, hold to account those who um, wasted the money, stole the money, caused the greed, and yet they are they are being called to account i think it's very dangerous for democracy 